Hello everyone, I'm Heyong from the Platform Graphics team. Today I'm going to briefly talk about Adobe White Color Gamut. The first thing I would like to mention um, is about what's new in Android 10 in terms of White Color Gamut. We changed the default color bit depth from system bits per color channel to 8 bits by default, which has the better hardware support and hence better performance so that you won't drain the battery when you adopt white, white color gamma in your application. All right, so the first topic I would like to talk about is about managing color in your application. Um, some general principles, some gen general principles that I would like to talk about is first, never assume the color space of external image files when it comes to your application, especially when it doesn't come from your own ecosystem. Pay attention to the ICC color profile of all the image file when you decode it. The second one is preserve color space information as much as possible in your pipeline when you finish decoding your image file to image data. So managing color is a prerequisite of doing white color gamut. That means you need to always keep, in, keep a destination color space in mind and do conversion whenever necessary. So how do you do that? Here's an example of using image decoder to, to do the conversion. Simply when header is decoded, set the target color space to your destination color space. If you don't care about white color and just want to manage your color, simply set the target color space to sRGB and you're done. So after you finish managing color in your application, what if you want to adopt white color? Some general principles to keep in mind is always check its screen white color gamma to make sure that you only turn on white color on those devices that are supported. We recommend you to first do a first try on ta by targeting Android 10 devices only. If you do your own rendering using OpenGL or Vulkan, keep in mind that you need to pick the correct color space extensions when you create surfaces. And here's an example of how to do that in OpenGL. Also pay attention to check the existence of um, OpenGL extensions and Vulkan extensions before you use them. So finally, this is an example of showing what could go wrong if you don't manage your color. The image, if you, you may recognize this image from our blog post about white color. The original image is in display P3 color space. The image on the left hand side we decoded to sRGB by managing the color correctly. The image on the right hand side does not have, colors, does not have color management at all. So um, if you view it on the right angle, you may recognize the image on the right hand side is actually desaturated than the, than the image on the left hand side. You can simply replicate this behavior as well if you decode any white color image and render it as a texture onto an sRGB surface. And then you will, when you view it on a calibrated display, you will see that it, the result is desaturated. Thank you. That's all I have.